Howdy, partners. Howdy, partners. Welcome to the Patterson. Indeed. We're both like... <laughs> We're like so on edge right the now. The mood of this video right now is like scary. As you can tell from the title, we're reading our hate comments again because you guys really enjoyed it the last time we did this. Yeah, last and it was time you did it. Literally, we got so many messages on Instagram being like, hey, can you do it again? Yeah. I went and found them again. So they're more of a shock to you. But I also found them a couple weeks ago, so I, rem I don't remember a lot of them. Let's just start reading them and see what happens. Also, can you hear that in the background? The dinging? That is because we taught Sonny how to ding a bell when he needs to go out for a pee pee. However, he is too clever and has realized he can use it for attention yep. when he just fancies going outside. So you might hear a bell a lot. <laughs> so he dings it every five minutes just because he's bored oh, and we're there not giving him attention. Okay, you ready? Yeah. This is a video where I told you I need a hug, so you hug me. It amazes me that people watch this cringe-worthy scripted beep and actually let it make them feel lonely. If anything, it makes me want to leave Earth. That is sweet -sy. Why didn't you sign up to leave in 2050 with Elon Musk? <laughs> like us hugging does it to somebody, I guess. By the way, if you're watching this video... Oh, oh the bell! The bell! <laughs> you know what, he gets sassy and sometimes he goes... <laughs> he did it three times. I know. This is a vlog we did where we took Sunny to the beach. Mm -hmm. So, Sunny's first beach day and date night. Okay, that was fun. I loved that. And they spelled you all wrong, but... I know you're English and living in the USA. But you look like such a tourist and so English. At one stage I was thinking you was going to get your deck chair out the car. Or one of them things the English put on the beach to stop the wind. Don't get me wrong, I'm from Liverpool, but living in Australia. So get surfing or something, or change your dress code, mate. Then you won't stand out like a palm. A palm? What's a palm? A palm? P-O-M. Oh, a palm. What's a palm? I don't know, but apparently you look like a tourist. I need to see what a palm <laughs> is, because if that's offensive, we can't put it in. Oh. An Englishman. Okay. I Americans also bring out beach chairs and umbrellas. Also, I don't care that I don't. I wouldn't say that's really a hate comment. That's someone saying, "Hey, They're you look like a tourist." They're trying to make it look like a hate comment. But like, I don't care that I look English. I'm English. I don't know why they're <laughs> trying to make it look like that's a bad thing. You look like a tourist. Okay. <laughs> and I pretty much am a tourist. I've only lived here for six months. Less four. Do you hear that dinging? That ding is literally the backing track for us yep. for our video. Can you please comment below with a Sunny Bell ding counter? Count how many times Sunny dings his bell. This is for you. Someone called you an insecure Brit weasel. Insecure <laughs> Brit weasel. <laughs> Why that... did I think of Ron Weasley? Come on. No, I'm not saying he's a weasel. I'm just saying weasel Weasley. Yeah, I was, I was it, like, Why am I thinking of Ron Weasley? This is for me. This is what I made Sam try an American food combo, like a weird one, which was chicken nuggets in ice cream. Yeah, that's that was really so weird. You liked it! It was weird. I but mean, you liked it. I would never sit there and order a 10 pack of chicken nuggets and, and an ice cream and be like... That's a hate comment towards me. It's good. Oh! She said chicken nuggets and ice cream because she's trying to be original, but also acting like it's a typical American trend. Women don't make sense. This is why we need Andrew Tate. <laughs> I'm trying to be original because I have chicken nuggets in my ice cream. I'm agreeing that it's it's not a common thing. Like and I'm all the comments on the video were saying that it's not common. And I'm agreeing that this man makes no sense. <laughs> so take that as you will. Oh my god, this what? one, this one. And his name is Sam. Oh, Sam, you're like your team down, dude. Classic case of two people who will cheat on each other. Her with a black guy and him with an Asian girl. <laughs> my best friend is Asian. <laughs> Cut the camera! <laughs> that is very specific. They cheat each other five minutes ago. They cheat each other five minutes ago? <laughs> Come on, prom. Come on, prom. And look at this! What? Another cheating. Why does Here everybody we think we cheat on each other? If she truly thinks that he has no other options better than her, best believe she will be cheating in the future, and most likely already has. She will eventually want a bad boy. <laughs> Have you cheated? <laughs> Apparently, according to Engine Engine. I have. All day, every day, you <laughs> cheating on me. Was Engine Engine complimenting me though? Because he said... I don't think so. Honey. She truly thinks he has no other options better than... Oh. I don't think so. I don't think it's... <laughs> no. Somebody commented, if this couple breaks up, I'm not believing in love anymore. Sweetie little comment. That's very cute. Somebody wrote, it's just a few moments of their life they show on social media. You don't know what's actually behind the camera. That's Fair very enough. true. Fair enough. Yeah. Then a comment under that comment. He probably will cheat on her. You know this... Beep is fake, right? Now we're back to you. Wait, what's you. fake? The marriage or? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, 
The marriage must be like not allowed because here's our next comment. This is fake. They're siblings. We're siblings? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, do you hear him dinging it? Is that why people say we look alike? I don't feel do good. Do we? I actually, you know what, in some pictures I kind of do see that we look don't, alike. Don't, don't, but, don't. But they say when you're in love with someone, you kind of start merging. Okay, okay, let's skip, let's skip. <laughs> you're gonna look like this baby in 80 years time. That's fine by me. I'm just gonna look in the mirror at myself naked every day. Here we go. What a simp. You can tell... What a simp. You can tell he's a yes man whose whole life and purpose revolves around pleasing his girl and making her happy. Women should be an accessory to a man's life and not the priority. Andrew. But these, but these soft simps never learn and man up. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm your accessory. Whoa. Because you're now my accessory, do I <laughs> do I wear you like a handbag? I don't know, like do you like Are you a do belt? you put a strap on my head and just like hold me like 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 what is happening? Yeah. How can I accessorize you? Daily Striver, what do we do from here? Daily Striver, come <laughs> on. Here's the video where I prank you with the salt. Remember when I cooked and I put salt and yeah. I pranked you? Oh. She's gonna cheat on his simp but within a few years. Okay. Man's got no balls. Man's got no balls. Is that a hate comment for me or you? I think both, right? Because I'm cheating on you. I think again. mainly me. Why am I mainly always me? Because I'm the simp with no balls. Yeah, but I feel like everyone's always saying that I would be the one to cheat. Like really? That's the most hurtful thing. Like yeah, I, I don't know why you cheat on me so often. Like this is just so rude. <laughs> She's gonna cheat on him. He's too nice. Is she stupid? And then she answered her own question. Yes. With a bunch of S's. <laughs> yeah. Ronnie, Ronnie G. Ronnie. You put your picture. You think in your that. 80 years on this earth you'd be friendly. You learn compassion and to be friendly. British accents are the most disgusting of all the lesser accents of the world. Of all the lesser accents <laughs> of the world. Oh. I am so sorry. I think British accents are the best accents, actually, of the entire world. Also, so, like talking about British accents, if anybody has actually experienced the United Kingdom, you know that literally every half an hour you travel, there's an entirely different accent. Which British accent are you talking about? Are you talking about mine, or are you talking about some dude that's got a Liverpudlian accent halfway down freaking... I'm sorry, I'm getting carried away. Every time I do this, it's parentheses. Okay. Since he is with her, maybe to hide the real truth, he is really... Gay? Okay. Yeah. Knew it. Or he is... Bi. Oh. Truly, you truly can truly see that he truly is truly one or the other. <laughs> Please read the rest. Because he is wearing gay guy shoes? What gay guy shoes? Flip flops? Didn't realize flip flops belong to <laughs> the gay your community. It's favorite sandals. Is it my my, your vans. my checkered ones? Yeah. I'm so your sorry. sliders. You know what? Just for you. With Dang all your parentheses, it. I just said parentheses instead of brackets, I'm British, oh, it's brackets. David, I'm talking to you directly now, just for you, I'm going to continue wearing the flip flops <laughs> every single day until they break because they have a comfy that flip flops. Nice. Y'all need some effing help, for real, <laughs> dot dot dot, <laughs> S word. Mark, I think someone else needs help, I'm not going to name names, but someone is sitting at their computer leaving hate comments to a couple that they don't even know. Mark Cobb Salad. I've been in five relationships and I will never be like this. It's cringe. Maybe that says something about the amount of relationships. I don't know. Because we're doing great over here. Don't worry guys. She will cheat on him and he turn into Doomer and you know how the story goes. Oh, he means Dharma. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think he means Jeffrey Dahmer. That's <laughs> not what he means. I'm pretty sure that's what he means. I guess you know how the story goes. Who's Doomer? Let me Google Doomer. Oh, he does mean Duma. Have you seen this meme? The sad guy meme, that one. Got it. I'm turning into him? I don't smoke. Apparently you will after I cheat on you. For the hundredth time. How does everybody know you cheat on me apart from me? How does huh? everybody know that I cheat on you apart from me? I don't like this kind, clingy relationship. I think he meant to say kind of. But kind of. Kind, we'll take the kind. Kind, clean. I, I like now that. know they are showing so much affection to each other, but with time this becomes bore, cliche, bore. obnoxious, Cli and they would want to get out of such relationships, so I'm happy as single. Well, we've been together um, seven years this month, so I think if I'm not bored of it now, I'll probably never get bored of it. I'm good. I'm happy. Are you okay? I'm okay. All right, cool. <laughs> Three more. Sam and Monica, if you're reading this, please reconsider your stance on having children. Morally speaking, having kids is wrong. Oh. Because it subjects the child to at least some level of guaranteed harm and suffering for no reason other than your own selfish desire to have a child. 
Oh. Not to mention that no kid can consent to being born. Therefore, consent does not exist. Spare them all the pain and suffering and look to adopt instead. Help those who are already here instead of gambling with someone else's life. And please, don't get me wrong. I still think you'd be great parents if you choose to go down that route. But for the sake of your unborn children, please give this idea some deep thought. Whoa. <laughs> there is a lot of rooted issues there, young sir. I don't really know what to say to that. That is really sad. It is. I, f I honestly, I just feel really bad for Me them. Me too. And like, his username as well. The so moneyless guy. The moneyless guy. At the end of it, he's clearly had a very, very sad yeah. upbringing and life. And, and he's kind of projecting that onto, you know, he's assuming that other people are going to have that experience. Whereas yeah. I am so freaking happy to be alive. And like, yeah. Look at life a little differently. And like, I know some people are in completely different situations and they have really hard lives and stuff like that. But life is such a beautiful thing. And... The fact that people actually look at it that way seriously is really, really sad. sad. Also, that was on the video where I, <laughs> where you pretended that you had an accident in the car. What? <laughs> Are you kidding? After all of that, you pretended you pooped your pants. I that's freaking the comment. <laughs> film a video about pooping my pants, and he says reconsider having children. Last one. She says literally a lot. It gets annoying after watching a few of their videos. Use any other words. There are literally many more in the dictionary. Deepak, I'm literally so sorry that I literally say literally too much. Like, literally, honestly, I'm sorry. So, I hope you literally have the best day ever. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We will see you in the next one. And to everyone who leaves all the positive comments, we see that. Yeah, and it's very rare that we're looking for these. 99% of the comments are absolutely lovely. And we want to say thank you so much to them. But yeah. it's really funny reading through the hate comments sometimes. And if you want us to do another video of that, then drop a comment below. We'll see you guys in the next video. And... To all the haters, we love you anyway. Bye! Bye.